So hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to be continuing with my AMC Middle Primary Problems uh, 26 to 30. So this time it is going to be the year 2005. So let's get started. So here is the first problem. These are the first four triangular numbers. What is the ninth triangular number? Okay, so here we have triangular numbers, so it's just basically you start with 1 and then now you add 2 to get 3, now you add 3 to get 6, and now you add 4 to get 10. So you've got 1, 3, 6, 10. So here we're each, we're just adding 1, 2, 3, and 4. So what's next? Well, next we add 5. So I'm just going to get rid of this. So we add 5 to 10, that's going to give 15. We add 6 to 15, because we're adding one more every single time, that's going to be 21. We add 7, that's going to be 28. We add 8, that's going to be 36. And we add 9, that's going to be 45. And those are the first 9 triangular numbers, so that means the ninth triangular number is 45. So here is problem 27. I had some 2cm by 1cm by 1cm bricks and decided to build a large block. When I ran when I had built this much, I had run out of blocks. So how many bricks did I have to start with? So here we just have to count the number of missing bricks and then see how big this block is to find out how many bricks he had originally. So you notice that in this bit here, we can fit two blocks to make it flat. And then here we can fit another block here. And then we can cover this area here with, uh, this area is 3 by 2 so that means we can cover that with 3 blocks. And then we're left with this area over here that is going to be 4 by 3 blocks so that it means that's going to be 12, uh, so 4 by 3, uh, sorry, centimeters cubed. So that will be 12 centimeters cubed, so 6 blocks. So we've got 6 blocks at the very front. We've got 2 blocks down here, that's 8. And then we've got 3 blocks over here, that's... 11 and then we've got one block here that's 12 so that means we need 12 more blocks so we're missing 12 blocks it might be a bit hard to count so uh yeah don't worry if you didn't follow that but uh there's don't think there's any better way to do it so now we look at the block size so let's see so across the length so we have uh, one two three four five six centimeters is the length and the width is one two three four centimeters and then the height is one two three four five six centimeters so that means the dimensions of the blocks the dimensions of the block are six times six times four so that equals let's see so six times six is thirty six times four that would be one forty four or CM cubed. So this means uh, now we need to find out how many blocks in total to make this, uh, like how many small blocks to make this big block. So we need 1 or 44 centimeters cubed. Every block is 2 centimeters cubed because it's 2 times 1 times 1. So that means 144 over 2 equals 72. So that means we need 72 blocks. So there's 72 blocks for the big block, so we've got 72, and then minus number of missing blocks, that's 12, we get a total of 60. So the answer is 60. So here is question number 28. How many numbers are there from 10 to 99 in which the digits differ by 3? So 14 would be a number, but 92 would not. So let's figure out a way to count these numbers. So first, let's find the number of numbers where the first digit so first case case one the first digit so let's say the tens digit is less than the ones digit so three less because it has to be different uh it has to be a difference of three so that means how many ways are to do that so it has to be at least ten so we're gonna have one and then if it's three less than the ones digit, that means the one is gonna be four fourteen and then next, we have if we have 2 at the 10th digit, then it's going to be 5 at the 1 zero because we're adding 3, and then we keep doing that. 36, 
47, 58, 69. And now we can't do 7, 10 because 10 is not a digit. So that means we are done. Now there's also the other case. So case 2, where the 10 digit is 3 more than the 1 digit. So that means it's actually just reversing all of these, so we just have 41, 52, 63, 74, 85, and 96. However, we are actually missing something, because here we can't start with 0, so there is no 0, 3. However, here we can do a 3, 0, so 30 is also one of the options. So that means we just have to count these, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So the answer... Is D 13 so here is problem number 29 a 4x4 grid is made using 40 matches as shown how many matches are needed to construct a 10 by 10 grid so what you do here is we look at the number of horizontal and vertical matches so here we can see that there so first let's look at the horizontal matches there are four columns of horizontal matches and there are five rows of horizontal matches so that means there are, so let's just write that down, horizontal matches, there are four rows, sorry, four columns, and five rows, so that's 20, and then for vertical matches, it's nearly the same, except that this time we have five columns, so look at the vertical ones, that's one, two, three, four, five columns, and four rows, one, two, three, four, so five columns and four rows. And so that means that total is 40. So now let's look at what happens if we have a 10 by 10 grid. So here you will notice that uh, the four columns, there are four columns because it's a 4 by 4 grid. However, there are five rows because there is an extra one. So it's going to be one more than the grid size. So now let's go 10 by 10. So then horizontal. So instead of having four columns and five rows, it means we're going to have 10 columns and 11 rows. So that is 110 if you multiply them together and then vertical matches and then instead we have 11 columns and 10 rows that's still 110 so that means the total is going to be 220 so the answer is 220 so here is the last problem problem 30 Lee buys two drinks and one ice cream for seven dollars Kim buys one drink and two ice creams for eight dollars Mario buys one drink and one ice cream. How much in dollars will this cost Mario? So all we need to do in this problem is we need to use variables. So here we need to just do variables for the price of a drink and price of an ice cream. So let's say the price of a drink is going to be D dollars. And then the price of an ice cream is going to be I dollars. So the D and the I just make, it helps us know which one is which. So now Lee buys two drinks and one ice cream, that's seven dollars, so that means two D plus I is seven. Kim buys one drink and two ice creams for eight dollars, so that means D plus two I is seven. So now we need to find how much Mario, what Mario bought costs. So Mario got D plus I, and we don't know what that is. Oh, sorry, that should be an eight, because Kim's price is eight. So what we do here is we can simply add up these two equations. So if we add these two, it means we add the left sides and add the right sides to 2D plus the D, that's going to be 3D. Okay, and then the I plus the 2I, that's going to be 3I. And then on the right hand side, that's going to be 7 plus 8 is 15. So now this, this bit here is exactly triple of what we want. So all we have to do now is just divide this by 3. So if we divide this by 3, it's going to become 3 divided by 3 is D. And then 3i divided by 3 is i. And then 15 divided by 3 is 5. So that means d plus i is 5. So how much what Mario bought costs $5. So the answer is 5. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you found this video interesting and or helpful, then please like and also subscribe. Uh, I will put a link to the playlist to look at uh, previous ones and also future ones if they've already come out. And otherwise, I think I'll see you in the next video.